Good afternoon to all Minecraft veterans and North Carolinians alike. It is I, your Lord, the King Pug Gaming, and welcome back to North Carolina in Minecraft Capes and Clips Edition. And right off the bat, you can already tell I had another freaking resolution change because I already have problems from trying to record this three times already. A change that might be mostly noticeable uh, is my mob farm. I built it the normal way only because no mobs spawned at all because the spawning area wasn't big enough. And now I have a proper hole boss, to slash enemies and claim their loot in this chest. And yeah, it works efficiently, but I feel like something else is wrong with it. Not a lot of monsters are spawning on the inside. I know why. There are too many torches on top, so let's go ahead and get that problem out of the way. Yeah, this is a lot of torches, so let's fix that mob spawn problem by removing some of these torches right off the bat. We already have enough torches on here so no mobs can spawn on the top and destroy it immediately. So doing this won't be a problem. So that way, this is a more efficient farm. I can already hear spiders. No wonder they haven't fallen down. They're water resistant. Now let's dig our way back down. Because it's time to remake everything I had out of diamonds. You know, I already got myself a new freaking diamond sword and a new diamond shovel. But I want to remake everything that I had that was made out of diamond. Before I die again in episode 5 and 8. But this time, I'm keeping it as close as possible. Nothing will take it from me again. And of course, in total, now I have 63 diamonds, I believe. Nope, just 62. So this means I can always recraft everything out of diamond. And what's the best part about today? I might turn it all into netherite. Oh yeah, I finally got that Fortune 3 iron pickaxe. Of course, I made myself up to level 30 after multiple deaths, but luckily for me, everything else was no, no. Just one pair of diamond leggings. I'm not making that mistake. And there we go. Once again, full of diamond armor. Now it's time for the re ultimate transformation again. BAM! Recovered with diamonds with my enchanted diamond weapon. And my new diamond pickaxe, which I will turn into a fortune diamond pickaxe very soon. And of course, another diamond axe. And of course, I was able to enchant my bow lot to punch two, mending power four, and I'm breaking three. And since it's mending, the best part of it, about it is that it's unbreakable. And of course, off camera, I played my way safe in the nether because I was apparently farming for more netherite and I was actually able to find one piece of ancient debris with a safe farm that I made in the underground nether. And luckily, I wasn't killed. And the best part about that was I never used any beds. All I used was just TNT. From all the creepers I have killed. Speaking of which, I'm gonna check my mob farm again. See if any more creepers have spawned. Seems like no creepers spawn on the farm. You know what? I'll just farm some tonight. And of course, I got back my North Carolinian shield once more. And of course, my diamond sword now has smite 4, which is mainly best used against undead monsters. Which means I can kill, kill any undead, undead monster with a crit hit. Or just one hit. hit. Mainly zombies, zombie pigmen, or zombified piglins, wither skeletons, skeletons, and I can deal a lot of damage to the wither. But now, it's creeper farming time. Oh, hello, wandering trader. I already knew you were still here. Why haven't I still developed this room yet in, in my home? I gotta fix that. Oh, hello, zombie. Oh, oh, I missed. missed. <laughs> but not that time. Hello again, zombie. What an unexpected surprise. And that's it. Also, my sword now has knockback, so when creepers are about to explode, I don't have to worry about getting too close to finishing them off once more. Hey, thanks for the gunpowder. I need it for a lot more TNT. Hello, zombie. Ready to get one shot at again? Boop! Bow! <laughs> 20 inch speed. Nothing but a punchline to a stupid joke. Well, if I was undead. So would I be one as well. Well, from that night of grinding, I only got seven gunpowder from only a few creepers. So, I bet, I guess it's best I craft another piece of TNT than go find some netherite in the nether. 
without accidentally blowing myself up. There we go. Now I have 13 TNT. Probably not enough to fulfill my plan, but eh, it's fine. But eh, it's fine. It'll do just fine with me. Into the nether we go. Oh, hello there, guest. Ouch. Okay, get off. Get off the fire. Ouch. You're, You're gonna pay for that. Alright, I need to make quick haste. Otherwise, more pigs are gonna come after me. There. That's where I have to be. And I hear Enderman. But, I'm not scared of him. Here I am. This is the layer I have to be at to find a lot of netherite. And of course, through this hole is where I use my first stack of TNT. And it's where I found my first netherite without actually dying. Isn't it wonderful? Now, let's collect this ancient debris. I may not have an enchanted pickaxe just yet. Hidden in the depths. There we go. One ancient debris. And this will give us one ancient scrap. So, now I gotta figure out the next part of my plan. Now we gotta be careful because there could be lava right above us. Or exactly where we step. So that's why we gotta dig straight to the left. To the next hole. Where I dug at. That I blew up just to find some ancient debris. Which, unfortunately, I found none. But, hey, that can change. Like that spot. And here's the other pathway I dug out. But I didn't fully dig it out because my iron pickaxe is about to break from quickly mining all of that netherite. Which I know is eventually gonna disappear. Well, this entire pathway can't, can't be fully mined out because it is completely blocked by lava and fire. So... Let's just break the TNT and blow it up. So... Light it up and run. It's in front of it. Okay then. Ouch. Clearly a lot of lavas behind there. And some nether quartz and nether gold ore. Well, I guess since I didn't find any more right now, the best thing I can do is just get back to my get back to the surface and smelt that one ancient debris that I got. And of course, while I'm on the way back, I'm gonna kill some more monsters for more EXP, as I need to enchant my pickaxe again. Okay, now let's just smelt this one piece of ancient debris with very fast speed. Oh, first netherite scrap. Now, let's just put away my diamonds. Oh yeah, diamond horse armor. Black Mamba, I'm coming to visit you. Get me even more Another right ingot. Let's see how we can make this. Pretty sure it isn't too expensive. Four netherite scraps and four gold ingots? Oh my goodness, I'll be farming netherite for hours and hours and hours. Until I get eight ingots. That means I have to get six. Six, no, 32 ancient debris and 32 gold ingots, which I think I already have. Now, just so I can enchant my pickaxe again, I'm just gonna go eat some dinner and then I'll be back. Seems like this farm is working now. And we already got three zombies, but what I really need are creepers. Mm, good. No EXP got stuck in the hopper. Oh! Oh! Hey, thanks for helping me kill that zombie. I was looking for killing it myself, but apparently you helped me do the job. Thanks, man. Oh my goodness, what the heck is going on inside the farm now? That's quite a few zombies, and... Slash! 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 How many zombies was that? But now I got 43 rotten flesh. 
That was quite a few. Gotta get that EXP point before another zombie falls down and then attacks me. Well, nothing can attack me whenever I'm like this. Smooth stone slab and get that out quickly and boop, there we go. Now, nothing can attack me because they can't see me. Okay, need to get back inside North Carolina. Just fought an Enderman and almost died, but it was worth it. One Ender Pearl. Yes. Anyways, let's just put this back up so that way. No monster can escape whenever they're inside my home. Oh, that's quite a few creepers. Now, let's kill them, and hopefully, I can get some gunpowder out of it. Hello, creeper. No, I missed him. But I'm still gonna kill him. Creeper, don't you dare blow up my North Carolina side! No, don't you freaking dare! Uh, that was a close one. That would have been disastrous if it destroyed my sign. Hello, creeper. Thanks for your EXP. And now i on the hopper. Nice. I think I might know what's wrong with my mob farm again. I think there are spiders inside. And since it's not spider proof, no, barely any monster, barely to no monsters will fall down. So I need to put buttons on those blocks my mobs will spawn in a checkered pattern. I think, then I believe that will solve my problem with the mob farm. And this will be very easy. At least if I can find all of my buttons, then I might. Oh, there they are. Alright, now let's place all those buttons in the checkered pattern that I have to make for it to be spider proof. I think this will work properly. Well, I ran out of buttons. Now I need to craft more. I'm just gathering extra cobblestone just in case because I know I'm not gonna have enough buttons still. Completely make the raping parts of my mob farm spider proof. Because I think that might prevent them from falling down all the time. Well, I didn't know this. I already have 44 cobblestone inside one furnace already. So now I got 44 more extra buttons. More checker powder time. Just for this, 128 extra cobblestone to be exact, and done. Now, let's make back up this water, seal this off, and then let's let this farm go to work again. Alright, I think I just gotta kill one more monster, and then I think I'm gonna get myself another pickaxe chance to get. No. Thanks for the aid, Creeper. But Jesus, that almost got it killed. Yes! Now I can upgrade again. Moment of truth. Let's see what I can get from my pickaxe. So, so touch, touch, no. Oh, Fortune 1? Or Unbreak? Eh, let's just go for Fortune 1. I can always get more diamond pickaxes to get it back to Fortune 2. Or even higher. Now I feel like it's the best time to end this video. It looks like I barely got anything done, but hey, getting a lot of netherite is just going to take an incredibly long time. So in the meantime, I hope y'all enjoyed watching me lose my sanity over finding a lot of netherite. netherite. Anyways, thanks for watching y'all. Have a nice day. And stay podcastic as usual. <laughs>